we will start certain numericals for magnetic field due to electric current. I am taking a numerical from NCRT because everybody is having that book. There is a question 4.14. It says two concentric circular coils and X and Y radius 16 and 10. These are two concentric coils. One has radius 16, number name X, 10, name Y. Lie in the same vertical plane containing north to south direction. Coil X has 20 turns. X has 20 turns and carrying a current of 16 ampere. 16 ampere. The sense of current in X is anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise and clockwise in Y. Clockwise in Y. For Y it is given Y has 25 turns. Y has 25 turns and the current is 18 ampere. I is equal to 18 ampere and this sense is clockwise. For an observer looking at the coil facing west, giving the magnitude and direction of the net magnetic field due to the coils at their center. Find, we have to find out what is the magnetic field, the net magnetic field at the center. Okay. This is our question. We have to find out magnetic field here. Now magnetic field is due to current and in a coil, this is center, what we have to remember? Current is flowing in a coil, we have to find out magnetic field at the center. Do you relate this situation? You have studied somewhere formula for that? So you will remember when current is flowing in a circular coil, we have magnetic field at the center and this magnetic field at the center is equal to mu naught i upon 2r. This is our formula. This should come to your mind readily. Now this formula and we have the direction also. So this we will start magnetic field due to x at the center. x at the center is okay. This is for one turn and if there are n turns then this will be mu naught n i. Okay. So at the center we will write it mu naught what is n 20 what is i 16 and what is r r is 16 centimeter okay so this is 16 centimeter we will make it meter so again see carefully mu naught n i this is mu naught this is n this is i and this is 2 r 2 into r. Radius is 16 centimeter. I have converted into meter because everything should be in SI system. So this is Bx and what should be its direction? So this is the current and thumb outside. So its direction is coming out. This. Now what is By? Magnetic field due to coil Y it will be in which direction? If the current is like this, this is inside direction. And how much this will be? Again, mu naught n i upon 2 r. Okay. So, this we put the values here. What is the value of n for y? This is 25 turns and i 18 and 2 multiplied by r. How much is r? 10 centimeter, 10 centimeter convert it into meter. So this is By and its direction is going in. This is going in, this is coming out, whichever is the larger will remain there and we have to make a difference of the two. So let us first see which one is the larger one. Okay. By, let's put it this way, 
b y minus b x. Okay, if b x is larger, we will see the negative sign. If b y is larger, we will find the positive sign. So this is mu naught common ten to the power minus two common. What we have in bracket is twenty five into eighteen minus. Okay. 25 into 18 upon 10 minus 20 into 16 upon 16. Yes. Okay. Now this 16 is cancelled. This 10. This 10 you can do this. Anything like this will be 2.5. 2.5 into 18 is. Twenty-seven. So this is mu naught upon two into ten to the power minus two. This is twenty-seven minus twenty minus twenty. This is seven. Okay. So we have it again here. Mu naught is four pi into ten to the power minus seven multiplied by seven. To be divided by two into ten to the power minus two. Two two is a four. So this is seven two is a fourteen pi. Fourteen pi multiplied by ten to the power minus seven minus two. This will be minus five. This this is the magnetic field, and this magnetic field in which direction? Here it is B Y is larger, and B Y has a direction that is inside. So this will be inside. Inside, inside is what? If somebody is looking on this, that person is facing west. Looking at the coil facing west. That person is facing west, so for him this magnetic field will be in the west direction, west inside. So this is the one, and now you have to write the unit of it. Since everything we are doing in terms of SI system, this magnetic field will also be in SI system, so we can write it Tesla. So this is our answer for this numeric.